team that we know very well. We're on the road in November, 10 and 1, and get ready for a lot of relief. I'll answer your question. Second row left, Austin. When you say tough day at the office, did you expect it would go down quite that way at the end? And did you well, when I woke up in our reaction on Wednesday when I started hearing about the weather, it just Everything we we are a balanced off football team, and when we're not balanced, it's tough. And uh, they had the same problem. You could uh, we threw a bubble screen. I wasn't the bubble down, and so it was just real difficult to uh, execute the throw game. And had a couple drops, and so uh, it's officially rival week. Or I'm going to like, answer a couple questions about this game, but we're eyes are forward, and let's go. You surprised that they went for two there, and maybe just the surprised they threw it. Well, they. Uh, <clears throat> they were controlling the line of scrimmage. They, you know, once again, that was a tough drive for us to watch. That usually doesn't happen to us. And, um, they were a good team, really good pack, number three, Ohio guy. Talking about the game, he's a hell of a player. Um, I was somewhat surprised. Not, I've been in that situation before. You have all kinds of momentum. And go swing and try to have a knockout punch. Far left over here, Bill. Yeah, uh, about the line play. Um, they have an inexperienced speed up line, and, and you guys have played well on the lines, both lines. Could you characterize the way both lines played for you guys? Our offense, offense and defensive line? Uh, we had a couple penalties. We ran for two guys over 100 yards in a situation where they knew we were running because we couldn't really throw much. I don't think we played great, but I don't think it was awful. The defense line, I don't I have to watch the videotape. I don't watch much of that. And I know we had a couple big hits, and uh, you take away those big hits. But they had some big hits against us. Over here to the right, Grant. That's a team that's had kind of a nightmare season for Green. So what's your assessment of how far away they are from where they've been? Far. I mean, I, I just guess a lot of respect. I've been in the box against those guys, and, and I know their coaching staff very well, and, and I have great respect for them. I think they're tough. I think they shot the game they had on us today, and, and they played very hard. But I don't expect anything different. Our left over here, Tim. Yeah, Mike, Mike Weber had the fumble there in the first half, and he came back to the second half and uh, had the huge run and then the touchdown. Just uh, know, what did you talk to him about after that fumble, or did you even at all? But what did his game mean there in the second half? Yeah, he's over a thousand yards as a freshman, which is a, a, a great accomplishment for him. Uh, with uh, three new starters on the offensive line as well, and, and uh, very pleased. You know, the, you know, fumbles and two big plays in the first half. I was, well, that's not us. That can't be us. We'll lose next week when we play like that. So, um, yeah, I talked to him like we all do. Let's say plays behind it, tight ball, chin, 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 we call it. Let's go. Over here to the right, Doug. Urban, putting up 62 the previous two weeks with the weather like that today, looking at Michigan next week, do, will you be able to be balanced offensively for that game the way you want it? It would be to? tough to win. It would be tough to win if we're not. I don't know the uh, weather forecast yet, uh, but we have to be balanced. And last year against these guys, the weather wasn't great. Obviously, it's a factor in the game. How do you feel like you guys as a staff handled it today with the plays you tried to call and try to deal with it? Well, much better. Uh, we actually had a weather plan. Um, you know, once you have two players rush for 100 yards against the defense, it says we're going to be running. That's tough. And uh, we wanted to throw it. You know, I wanted to. There's a couple plays that were hash specific. It was right on the tip of my time. And then you start watching the clock. If a ball's tipped or you lose that game. And so, uh, you know, I, I wish we would not have punted the end thing out of the end zone again and trying to drop them back in there. That was one of the most disappointing things. But I, I thought we did fine. You know, I don't think it's a, it was a game of high execution because, uh, you know, on both ends of the ball, offense and defense, it's hard to run them all. They know it's kind of. And JT, 26 carries. That's just how it goes on a day like today? Thank you. How many? 26, I think. Yes. Yeah, there it goes, 24. 24, yeah. Way it goes. And, and last question over here, Austin. Okay. Urban, it looked like both Chris and Malik had their hands on the, the two-point interception. Is there any conversation in the locker room about who actually got the interception there? <laughs> oh, the two-point? Yeah, it looked like they both had their hands on it. It doesn't matter, I guess. Fuck that ball. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, right here. Ohio State has had coaches in the past who haven't worried about all the Big Ten talk, all the national championship talk. When this week comes, they just – laser focus on the University of Michigan. That's all you guys heard all week is you're number two, you're going to make the playoff, you're not going to make the playoff. Big Ten, little murky, just do you, what's your thought right now about all that stuff in comparison to what this game and focus on this game is? Well, you don't hear it from us, right? but they don't live in a cocoon either, so I hear it in the media, the ESPN and all that. That's part of it. I'm glad we're here. 
Well, I don't know if I'll talk about it. I can talk about it earlier. Enjoy the win when you go home. Enjoy the win and wait for assignment tomorrow. I'll probably address it at some point. Coach, thank you.